It was a beautiful sunny day for the 107th running of the Queen of the Classics, Liège Bastogne Liège. Just under 260 kilometres of riding with 11 climbs out to Bastogne and back the long way with the twists and turns and the famous names, the one Stocker Haute Levé, Oisier, and heading to La Redoute before towards the end and that final climb of the Rochot Faucon and the run back into Liège itself. The race started with around 10 and a half minutes of a gap for seven riders out in the break. And they would stay there for most of the day. Behind there'd be the odd move inside the final 80 odd kilometers. Haram Verhooker starting one and being followed by Mark Donovan. Mark Padun tried to get involved as well. And at one stage it looked as though they would be looking to bridge up to the front of the race. Empty road at the side of the road, but plenty of drama on it. Unfortunately, crashes always part. And those three attackers would soon be caught. The Ineos Grenadiers en masse taking things up at the front. Theo Gegenhart performing brilliantly. Vingegaard tried to go with him. And as Fliegen suffered cramp at the front of the race inside the final 25 kilometers, just half a minute behind, Adam Yates and company will be looking to attack. A few big hitters missing the first move before it would all come back together once Richard Carapaz was off the front. Carapaz going away. And inside the last 20 kilometers, he'd get around half a minute of a gap. Davide Formolo decided that it needed to be brought back. Riding for his teammate Tadej Pogacar, he did that job. And on the final climb of the day, the big group would whittle down. Attrition at the back, attacks at the front. Woods launching the move at the top of the final climb of the day. Defending champion Roglic couldn't follow. Five riders found themselves at the front. With Woods were Gordou, the world champion Alaphilippe Balberde, a four-time winner and a possible equaler of the record held by Eddie Merckx, and Tadej Pogaccia, Tour de France winner in 2020. Into the final kilometre they would go, and it would come down to a sprint. Valverde forced to the front, looking to try and equal the record. He launches sprint a long way out, 250 metres from the line. Woods having to follow him, but it would be coming around the outside, Alaphilippe, and then right at the last, Tadej Pogacar to get him on the line. And the 22-year-old from Slovenia made it two wins in two for his nation. He'd take his first monument at just the fourth attempt. And a 23rd career victory as Alaphilippe had to relive a finish line nightmare from just a few months previous. Pogacar, Alaphilippe, go do the podium with Balverde and Woods fourth and fifth. Mohoric making out the top ten, all of them separated by just nine seconds. Delight for Pogacar, only realising he'd won just after he crossed the line. And the end of the first part of the season for today, Pogacar, is a victory. Liège passed on your Liège, the young winner of the old lady of the classics.